Hello and welcome! Today we're going to be trying a new video series called Tricks and Tips. And for this first video, we're going to start off with Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch was co-developed by Level 5 and Studio Ghibli and published by Namco Bandy. And if you haven't already played it, well, let me tell you, it's one hell of a game. I definitely recommend picking up a copy. For this trick tip video, we're going to be talking about grinding. I'm gonna go munching on some grind, bitch. Bye. Any RPG gamer knows, the higher level you are, the easier enemy battles and boss battles get. In this case, it could also be a great farming tool for your familiars. For this task, you'll need the Veil spell, which is not really required, but if you do have it, it makes this task a lot easier. You can get this spell by completing Horse's Riddles. Next thing you'll need is the Dragon. If you don't already have him yet, then I recommend you keep playing until you've acquired him. Once you have the Dragon, you'll need to fly to Perdita, which is located northwest of Hamlin. Below this city, there's a valley that's called Billy Goat's Bluff. There's a certain familiar that inhabits this valley that gives you a great deal of experience points. These familiars are called Toko Tokos. Toko Tokos have a low encounter rate, but if you manage to find one, they can give you up to 7,000 plus experience. Sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you can find two of them. In this case, you can pretty much double that experience. Doing this will pretty much guarantee that most of your roster will level up drastically. Now I'll show you step by step on what to do. First, go ahead and cast your Veil spell. This will make you invisible to any of the surrounding familiars, which will always result in you getting the upper hand while in battle. One thing to look for while trying to find the Toko Toko is to look for a navy green colored familiar that carry around a staff. Try not to get them confused with the clap traps and the boars, and always make sure to shift the camera angles around because they could be hiding in the trees. And so, to battle. Once you've encountered a Toko Toko, my recommendation is to use your strongest attack. This ensures that you knock him out before he even gets a chance to run away. Remember, these familiars have the ability to put you to sleep, so make sure to take them out quickly before they can apply it. Nice work. If you're having difficulty finding Toko Tokos, there are other locations where you can do some grinding. You can find Tokos on the Ugly Duckling Isle, they give you less experience, but you can do this as soon as you get the boat. If you've reached the Ivory Tower, you can find Toko Tokos, which have a low spawn rate, but can give you up to 20,000 plus experience. Wow, now that's a lot of experience. In my opinion, I recommend grinding in Perdita you get less screen loads and a much better rate of encountering Toko Tokos. Once you hit the end of the valley, use the spell Travel and go back to Perdita. This should give a fresh respawn and a chance to once again encounter a Toko Toko. This method for farming will definitely come in handy if you're trying to obtain the Familiarologist Trophy. It took me a little over 100 hours to platinum this game. It's not really hard to do, it's just very time consuming. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys got any questions regarding Nino Kuni and would like to see more tricks and tips videos, let me know. Till then, see you later.